What's up guys? Today we're gonna take you through what we're coining Midtown Square. Good food, good drinks, so let's go check it out. Let's go. After selling hundreds of homes all throughout Northern Nevada, selling Midtown is our absolute favorite. Midtown has everything you want. It's got the edginess, best restaurants, best bars. Midtown is the coolest place in Reno. I'm Jolie Nava. I'm James Nava. Join us as we show you what Midtown's all about. Death and Taxes is one of our absolute favorite spots. It's got the coolest mixology cocktails that you can experience in Midtown. This place knows how to make a real cocktail. When you walk in, it's just got such a sexy vibe. The whole place is blacked out. It just creates that perfect ambiance for that date night. Honestly, it kind of brings the goth out in me. <sighs> And that bartender, Mike, knows how to shake up a good cocktail. Mike made me a mezcal margarita that was super creamy and fruity, had the prettiest little flower on top. Mmm, it was perfect for a hot summer day. And James ordered a mezcal old-fashioned because he thinks he's super manly or whatever. Jolie doesn't know what she's talking about. I know what a manly cocktail is, and that was a great cocktail. Very old-fashioned, mixed with mezcal, so like a modern twist on an old classic. Tastes like man. Tastes like my chest hair. So fun fact, I used to be a bartender for multiple years, so I can tell you what a good cocktail is, and these guys do it right. I even decided to dust off my old skills and get in there and do a shake. And I still got it. Another neat feature, this door in the back of the bar opens up. It's kind of like a hidden little speakeasy in there. I was not expecting that back room. They had some really high-end whiskeys, tequilas. Fancy liquors from all over the world that you can purchase. They even had a bottle of Louis the 13th, which I don't know if you've looked that up lately, but it's around $4,000. That Blanco Tigre bottle was a little funny looking, so if you look at the top, a little questionable. Next up, we're headed over to Noble Pie because after a couple of cocktails, you're gonna need some food in your stomach. Man, I love Noble Pie. Those guys have been slinging pizzas for years back there, just like it's nothing. You gotta check this place out. It has some of the best pizza, very unique flavors. Jolie barely even ate hers. I had to go finish it off for her. I don't know if all men are like this, but James eats like a freaking animal, like he's never eaten before. I mean, it's a little disgusting, but whatever. Those wings, though, damn, freaking spicy. I didn't know this, but they make that sauce daily, and whatever they're putting in it, man, that's hot. The garlic on top, that's just the perfect touch. Can only have a couple of those because all that garlic, you know what I mean? Some people complain that those wings give you some gas. You might want to ask Jolie on that one. Make sure that you're not single because if you go on a date after those, it's gonna be scary. Pro tip, if you don't like them too spicy, get them coach style. That's when they mix barbecue sauce and hot sauce together and it gives that perfect little blend. And you always gotta do a little cheers as Jolie and I did. The other neat feature, not a lot of pizza shops do this, but they have pizza by the slice. So if you're not super hungry and you don't want to order a whole pizza, you can order just one slice at a time. After a slice of pizza, you gotta head next door to Pinion, grab yourself a beer and wash that pizza down. The reason I like Pinion is because they have so many beers on tap and in bottle form. That fridge selection is insane. The awesome thing about Pinion is they've got beers from all over the world and lots of local options. You know the Nava team had to do it big, so we got some really expensive beer. We got a $30 bottle aged in local Frey Ranch barrels. This one was really interesting. Man, that thing packed a punch. I love that Pinion and Noble Pie are right next to each other. The outdoor seating is a serious vibe. There's always something going on in this little square, and it's just a fun place to go. Whether it's a date night, whether it's bringing the family out for pizza and beers, it's just an awesome place to be. Jolie's right, the vibe out here is fucking perfect. After you've been fired up from those wings, you gotta cool yourself down with some Bebo gelato. It's right around the corner from Midtown Square. They've got some of the best, creamiest, most scrumptious gelato in town. Man, I love a good gelato, so this was a real good treat. I chose the Forest Berry. Really nice, fresh, super tight, punching berry taste. It was delicious. They've got so many different flavors. 
sky's the limit. Some people don't know this, but Reno has some of the best coffee roasters in the state. And Bebo's is definitely one of the top 10. This is one of many locations that they have in the Reno area. So if you're not feeling that gelato, grab yourself some caffeine. Jolie and I are coining this Midtown Square because it's got the treats, it's got the food, it's got drinks, it's got pretty much everything you need. This place is the heart of Midtown. I've been a realtor for eight years in this town and Midtown is where you want to be. All right, everybody, that was Midtown Square. We got the foods, we got the eats. I highly recommend it. Come check it out. Jolie, what did you think? Loved it. Awesome, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs> hey, guys, if you want really something good to eat and drink in Midtown, you come see me, not those posters. Oh. See you, see you, see you.